We are going to conduct maintenance on an ARRI DL60 air valve. First, we'll start by closing the isolation valve under the air valve. After we close the isolation valve, we're going to release pressure from the air valve itself. If a drainage port is not available to open on the product, you could gradually open the bolts on the cover itself, allowing pressure to release from the bolted cover assembly. After pressure has been released, we can now go and start and conduct our maintenance on the product itself. We're gonna start by maintaining the large air and vacuum component. For that, we're gonna open the bolted covers. After bolts have been removed, we're gonna lift the air and vacuum cover. We're gonna inspect the internal components of the valve. We'll inspect the integrity of the float. We're gonna inspect the O-ring located on the body. We're gonna inspect the integrity of the orifice seal and orifice seat. After parts of being inspected and cleaned thoroughly, we'll return the air and vacuum float. We're gonna return the air and vacuum cover assembly. And we're gonna rebolt the product to the air and vacuum body. We're gonna close the air and vacuum body using the crossover method. After the bolt cover has been tightly fastened, we're gonna move and maintain the air release component. We're gonna unscrew the body, making sure the base is firmly settled on the product. We're gonna screw the top SO50C body where we'll find the internal air release components. We're gonna take out the clamping stem and float and sealing assembly. We'll make sure all parts are in the correct integrity. We're gonna wash thoroughly the internal side of the air release body, making sure that the internal air release orifice inside the valve is cleaned properly. We're gonna also inspect the air release rolling seal assembly. We're gonna check the internal integrity of the rolling seal assembly. If it's torn or cracked, we're gonna replace the rolling seal by slitting out the rolling seal from the float and replacing it with a new rolling seal unit. We'll take the narrow side of the rolling seal and slide it in the groove on the float, making sure that the middle part of the rolling seal is aligned in the middle part of the parting line positioned on the float. We're gonna gradually reassemble the rolling seal assembly to the air release body component. We're gonna take the rolling seal assembly and slide the top end on the top end of the groove in the body. And we're gonna slide the groove on the float halfway in, while the remainder part will be Position with the clamping stem in the same groove opening. And then we're gonna slide it together in until the clamping stem is flushed to the body. We will check that the float and rolling seal is positioned properly. We're gonna return the air release component to the product, making sure that the base o-ring of the air release is positioned properly. We'll tightly screw the product in, and we'll check our maintenance procedure is done completely by opening the isolation valve and seeing that the valve is sealed tight. The maintenance procedure conducted on the air release valve is exactly the same as we would have done on the composite SO50 model. We're gonna check the internal integrity of the rolling seal assembly. If it's torn or cracked, we're gonna replace the rolling seal by slitting out the rolling seal from the float and replacing it with a new rolling seal unit. We'll take the narrow side of the rolling seal and slide it in the groove on the float, making sure that the middle part of the rolling seal is aligned in the middle part of the parting line positioned on the float. We're gonna reassemble our replaced rolling seal assembly we're going to take the rolling seal assembly, insert it in the top groove on the body. 
slide the float halfway in and close it down with the clamping stem until it sits flush on the body itself. We're gonna return the unit to the base and we'll thread it tightly to the base of the product. 